so this year is the 20th anniversary of QuakeCon. Um, it's a show that started based around a small group of fans who had a love for id and id games and it's kind of grown into this bigger and bigger event every year. It's really a, a celebration of, of gaming, but it's kind of um, blossomed to encompass all of the games that Bethesda makes and it's a chance for people to come together and sit in the BYOC and play games, to come see our demos and panels about the folks who are, are making new games. Um, play in the Tabletop Village, watch tournaments, generally three days of, of fun in the blazing heat of Dallas um, where we all are encouraged to stay inside and play video games. You know, I think the thing that I'm probably most excited about for Fallout 4 is what they've done with crafting and allowing the player to customize weapons with items that they find in the world. And now you have the ability, instead of just buying a house, to basically create your own house. But there are these places all around the world where you can kind of deconstruct and reconstruct in your own image. You can also build them such that you recruit NPCs to come and they can um, perform functions and, and do jobs in your settlement as you build it up. You know, and the whole idea is for you to make it your own story. That Fallout games are about defining who you want to be in this world and playing however you want. Obviously, announcing the Fallout Shelter game at uh, E3 was a pretty big surprise. Nobody saw a mobile game coming in Fallout. It's done extremely well for us. The Android version is coming August 13th so that Android users can, can join in the fun. You know, it's a game that we're really pleased that folks have enjoyed so much and we're definitely going to continue to support and add new stuff to uh, in a big way throughout this year and beyond. So Doom is obviously a hugely important title for it. It's, um, it's probably the game that garnered them the most fame. It's a historic Hall of Fame series and franchise. And you know the desire this time around with Doom it was to, to bring it essentially to a whole new audience because it's been a pretty long time since Doom 3. And to bring that kind of over the top action from the single player into the multiplayer arena to be able to unveil it here at QuakeCon and, and say to folks, hey, you know, don't take our word for it, go, go put your hands on it and play it. It's great to see folks embracing what it is. It's different than a lot of other shooters I play where if the two of you come around the corner, basically it's whichever one gets the drop first, the other guy's dead and you sort to move on. It's a bit more strategic, it's definitely aggressive, it's a game that actually rewards you for being aggressive and moving forward, you do not want to be taking cover. It's obviously got kind of the brutality of Doom as well with uh, glory kills, the ability to pick up demon runes and become a demon um, is pretty awesome and a uh, different experience, you know, you're running around with a rocket launcher uh, and all of a sudden you pick up this demon rune and now you're flying around as a revenant with, you know, additional health and and booster packs and, and really devastating attacks. I think by the time we pull back the full curtain on the, on the Doom multiplayer experience in the game as a whole, I think people are gonna be really surprised and pleased with everything that Doom is doing to kind of carve out its own space in the first person shooter. We're obviously big fans of making immersive games and immersive worlds. That, that's a big part of um, our foundation and what we do, making worlds believable. Um, whether it's an Elder Scrolls game or a Fallout game or Doom or whatever. And the NVIDIA guys and their, um, you know, their ability to continually push the boundary of graphics and find new ways for us to bring things to life and make them more realistic has only added to that over the years. It's been a great relationship and um, I, I look forward to working with those guys for years to come.